Hola guys, so I'm extremely excited about this video because I'm bringing you something today that I've never brought you before and it's gonna be so magnificent. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make fried catfish at home. Well, it's not really catfish, it's the vegan version, but it's so delicious, so tasty, and it's really easy. So if you're on a plant-based diet like I am, fun fact, I have not eaten fish, seafood, meat in about 10 years, but now I have found a way to make a fish substitute that is absolutely delicious. So if you're on a plant-based diet like me and you want that kind of a dish, but obviously you don't wanna eat meat, or maybe if you wanna just try something new, you wanna try something healthier, because this recipe I'm gonna show you, it's using whole foods, whole ingredients, things that you can pronounce. So that's another benefit to this recipe. All right, so I got most of the ingredients that I'm gonna to need to make this dish from the Thrive Market. And as most of you guys know by now, cause I've been shopping on Thrive Market for, I look back and I think it's been about seven years and I have talked about Thrive Market a lot, but if you haven't heard of them, they're an online membership based grocery store. And I freaking, love shopping on the Thrive Market site because the interface is just so easy to use. They have a buy again feature so I can go back as I have some favorites on there that I like to buy every single order and I can just go on there and see what I last bought and just click the button and buy it again. Very, very user friendly. You can sort by your value. So because I'm plant-based, I can go in there, put in plant-based and see all the products under that category. And I find a lot of new products that way because I like trying out different stuff. But yeah, let me show you what I got in this order to be able to make this vegan fishless catfish unbleached all-purpose flour this is organic I got some organic canola oil cornmeal organic yellow corn polenta organic kelp granules by the way this is not something that I can find in my local grocery store which is another reason why Thrive Market is so clutch because it's really easy to go in there order what you need that you might not be able to find close by and it comes right to your door organic ketchup nutritional yeast organic lemon pepper zing, Cholula hot sauce. And some of y'all might be wondering how on earth is she gonna make a fish substitute? Like what is she gonna use? I'm gonna be using hearts of palm. And I've seen a bunch of people use hearts of palm to make like a fish substitute. But y'all, let me let you in on a little secret because the recipe I'm gonna show you is a game changer. I've never seen anyone make it like this because I have a secret ingredient and that is <laughs> brown rice spring roll wrappers. And then remember I was just telling you that I like to try new things that I find on the Thrive Market site? Well, this is something that I saw on there that I just had to pick up. That is this groovy brand, Bubbly Rose. This is actually alcohol free. And then I also got the Dry Seco. Thought that that would just be a nice little compliment to the vegan catfish. That's what I got from Thrive Market, you guys, to help put together this fantastic recipe. If you haven't jumped on the Thrive Market bandwagon already, y'all be sure to check them out. There's gonna be a link below for new members and you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 right there down in the description box. Now let's go ahead and jump into this recipe. Super, super easy. Okay, first step, I'm gonna take our whole hearts of palm. I have one can here. Take each piece, cut it in half, then take a fork and go like this. This is what's gonna comprise the flaky texture of the vegan fishless filet. So you do that. Should look like that. And I also like to chop it up a little bit. I'm gonna continue for the rest of the pieces. All right, so this is one can of the Hearts of Palm. I'm gonna transfer this to a large bowl. To this bowl, I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of the lemon pepper zing, a quarter teaspoon of the kelp granules, half teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, and a couple shakes of garlic powder, and a dash of salt. Mix that all up. Take the brown rice spring roll wrapper, large bowl of warm water here. We're gonna dip our wrapper into the water, fully submerge it in there. Right now it's rigid, but it's about to get really, really soft. Put it onto a cutting board, add the hearts of palm filling, and you wanna do a thin layer of this. You don't wanna pile it up 
Just make a thin layer in the middle and you wanna kinda get it into a fish fillet shape. Or you can do any shape you want, but to make it more realistic, we're gonna try to form it in a way that a real fish fillet would look. Bigger at the top and then smaller at the bottom. So we're gonna fold the edges of the paper inward to cover this filling up. I like to trim off the excess though because we don't want too much of the rice paper. Fold this over. And bring that down. It's gonna look like that. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and make the dry batter. So I'm gonna use a third cup of the all-purpose flour, as well as a third cup of the cornmeal. Third cup of flour, third cup of cornmeal. I'm gonna season this up with the same seasonings. A quarter teaspoon of the kelp granules. Quarter teaspoon of lemon pepper. A few shakes of garlic powder. Half teaspoon of Old Bay. And a dash of salt. Give it a mix. Gently lift this up and transfer it to the dry batter bowl. Cover the whole thing. Should be coated on both sides. Take the canola oil, put it in a frying pan over medium high heat and fry them up. Once it's crispy on the underside, you want to flip it. Once it's fully crispy, just transfer it over to a paper towel lined plate to let the excess oil drain off. All done. From one can of Hearts of Palm, I was able to make six, whoa, almost lost them there. I was able to make six pieces of my vegan catfish. They turned out so perfect and crisp. Listen to this, guys. Mm. You hear that crunch? It's fire, y'all. So you can do so many things with this vegan catfish. You can use it as a main and just add some sides to it. You can put it on a sandwich. I just made a version of fish and grits. I actually use polenta though instead of grits, but I made this cheesy polenta with the nutritional yeast that I got. My go-to recipe for making cheesy grits is in my cookbook, Deliciously Vegan. If you guys have not copped your copy yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, but I will put a link to it below. I have some sauteed okra and red bell pepper in there as well. Just look how scrumptious that looks, y'all. You guys definitely try this recipe out. Let me know what you think of it. I personally enjoy it very much. So I'm about to dig in, can't wait. I'm actually gonna go ahead and have one of these bubbly rosés with it and See how I like it on camera. One second. Mmm, smells really good. Y'all. Mmm, this is delicious. I'm liking this a lot. Tastes fruity, tastes light, tastes refreshing. Grab you some hot sauce, y'all, and you're in business. You don't have to worry about bones with this. Mm. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Um, thanks again to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. You guys check them out by clicking the link below and I will see you on my next one. Peace.